Okay, so we're trying to dye our ends, which um, is called dip dye. Um, it's very cute for summer now. So um, I'm going to show you how I do mine. So right now, mine are kind of like this, except it faded a lot because I've been in the pool lately. So yeah. So I'm going to touch up my, uh, my ends, which is a turquoise color, as you can see, with this one. Um, both the same brand, raw color, turquoise, uh, twisted teal, turquoise color. And this is the new one I got, which is fuchsia, uh, same brand. And I'm going to touch up my blue down here. And then, as you can see, I don't like to make it harsh and like a straight line, but I like to make it faded. So um, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do another layer of pink. And um, if you want, guys want to know, um, for hair that's blonde, you guys... I don't have to worry about, you know, bleaching your hair or anything. It's awesome, you know, you can do your hair anytime you want. And, um, but if your hair is like mine and not naturally like blonde or anything. My hair was already brown to start with and it was already bleached. Um, but then I bleached it some more toward the end so that I can get a more like vibrant color. So, um, there's instructions on this, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So, you need um, gloves. I have on and um, if you have someone helping you you can they can do it on the back which probably probably would be easier but no I have no one helping me so wear an old t-shirt one that you don't you don't mind getting dirty and take the bunch that you want you squeeze a tiny amount in you can always put in more oh, it smells like vanilla so this is how much I squeeze out I don't know if you can see that so that's how much I squeeze out and start from there rubbing it in your hair. So as you can see, it's getting a lot darker and toward the upper part, you would just like, there, just rub it in and then of course you have, so you're going to get some on your gloves and with that you rub the top part so it's like a fade look, you know, not too harsh. So I don't do a lot on here because I knew I was doing the pink. So yeah. Okay, so I washed the immediate color off already. This is just a stain, don't worry about it. And I'm doing the pink, the fuchsia on here next. So same technique. You can take where I want it to be. Um, put some on there. Start off a little. Love a gum muscle. <laughs> I was just wondering if different one would smell different. And start rubbing it in. I'm not sure how this color is gonna show up because I did um, I bleached the ends a bit more, and this part isn't as bleached, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. But rub it in. Um, I like to rub it in on top first. And then slowly add some more in the middle as I fade it in. So this is what we have so far. And of course I'm putting more in. Fill in the gap of like yellow right there in the middle. 